the depth of sorrow Now the sun will shine Or the heavenly rays divine You'll feel content delight <laughs> and your sunshine remember that <laughs> thank you so much Shukri Pama it's our second attempt to perform today this song I think first attempt was a little bit even more powerful than this one but nevertheless 
We're still trying that because it's a very powerful song. I think. Um, <coughs> composed by me on the 18th of 6, 2024. And I hope that song helps you to get through suffering. Because it says, from the depth of sorrow, know the sun will shine. So it means no matter how deeply you may be suffering, but you will still have joy and um, everything will be good. So therefore, while you suffer, remember, it not for long, it will get better, you'll get healed, and then it will be joyful, and the right people will be sent in your life. And um, as you saw on the Mirai Beach, yeah, yeah. when the boat turned upside down, you know, we went for a walk there, and if you want to die, really, they won't let you, because there's a helicopter, there's six police oh, yeah, cars. Yeah, well, there was um, the people all running to the victims there, to the water, you know, they were running, and. Uh, and there was so much, um, you know, of like emergency situation, and it's, it seems like the end of the world, yeah. you know, because just when the, the boat turned over and somebody got wet, and maybe I, I think nobody died, but nevertheless, it shows you how people do care when you get into real trouble. They would run and they would call a helicopter on you, and they will pull you out of the ruins if the house dropped. You know, honestly, you need to know that. When when intensive suffering, there's always something will happen that either people will save you. Either some help will come, either either consolation will come from heaven, you know, and you would feel peace while you suffer. So, but you will be always comforted because heaven loves you so much. And when they see you in suffering, they would automatically help you if you already cannot bear that. It's like we, when we see kitten drowning, we, no matter how much they might drown you, we still save it and we're trying to save their life and we'll be jump in the cold water or whatever mm. and save him that little kitten and he'll be shaking, shivering. Maybe have already pneumonia but then he go to hospital and doctors will be saving his life and then they'll be uh, feeding him from people and you know all this stuff and he'll be all like that dehydrated and it seems no hope. But nevertheless he still will win and then the end he still live and he becomes strong. So it's the same thing with you, so the more you suffer the stronger you become. You're actually gaining endurance, you know, and ever patience while you suffer. You're learning empathy, how other people feel when they suffer. Mm -hmm. sure. So therefore suffering is uh, a big part of our life and it will be in this world. We cannot escape it. But the most important way how you see that suffering as a benefit for your soul. And at the time when you suffer, just read a good book or educate yourself or do mm -hmm. your plans mm -hmm. about future. And you have the time to, you know, to purify your, your mind. Because when we suffer, we already don't judge anybody, that, that, do we? We already don't care how much money who got in a bank. We already don't care whose properties belong to who. We do not care about anything when we suffer. We only care, oh my goodness, I'm in pain. You only care about yourself. And you only care who's going to give you a drink. Yes? That is right. Who take yeah. you to toilet while you can't walk. Mm. And that, at the moment, becomes your number one priority. Who is with you while you suffer? Because lots of uh, fake friends will disappear. They won't even care that you suffer. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Because they need you only when you're smiling, when you have money, when you drive in Porsche mm. cars, you know. I'll give you one good example mm. on that one. Thank you for bringing it up. I was at, when I was 17 or 18, we got on, we used to go for joy rides. That Sunday afternoon mainly, we had, used to have a beetle bomb, had a good times, you know. And we got on really well together. But this particular day, the car was going on nice and smoothly and all of a sudden, boom, 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 uh-oh, the car stopped. You know, only one person that stuck with me, the rest just went away or walked away like ants. That's the one person you appreciate. So if you have uh, any problems in your life, if you have one or th two or three people there, that's your true friend. Absolutely. Yes, and um, that, that's what we need the suffering from, mm. uh, for, to work out who's our friends, to work out that money is not important, because yeah. when you suffer and you realize that money is somewhere in the bank anyway, they can't help you at all. Whether you have million or 25 million, you suffer on a the couch, they mm. cannot help you. There's no link, you can't jump to the bank and withdraw your cash. Yeah. So, therefore money is just like a little bit like a fib in our life, and people very often run for money. And they don't appreciate real people around you. They don't really appreciate that the real human being around you, that is the biggest asset. Mm. Why? Because they care, 
you can create music with them, you can go swimming with them, you can go to parks with them, you can film each other with each other, you can love with each other, mm -hmm. you can have mm -hmm. projects with each yeah. other. This, this, this is the most amazing resource. And the rest is all the money and illusion that you might get more and more. And even if you get more, you cannot embrace it. You have to work in these things. Like if you have one house, you have to clean the house. Mm. You have to have two houses. You have to clean for two houses. You have to pay for insurance on this house. You have to pay for the rates of the water for the house. You have to pay for two telephone lines in different houses. And you have to pay and pay and pay. So every purchase is responsibility. Like with cars, for example. You get one car, there's one expense. You get two, two expenses. You got mm. three cars, three expenses. So more, more of something you have more you have to be like, even with computer, have one computer, second, third computer, and you have to like, oh, how's that computer, how's that computer? Mm -hmm. And all your life going and worshipping and serving the technical mm -hmm. pieces of metal wired with electricity or whatever. Basically, things, it's you serving things, but things don't serve you because they don't feel your love. So you give your actual love, and a life energy to these objects and they don't give you uh, that loving energy back yeah. like even computer you give your heart to the movie and they can't give you anything because it's a plastic device it only can make you to be empathetic and it sucks your energy into it but it doesn't give you joy mm. so because computer can't give you love and joy and can't talk to you can't hug you can't kiss you can't consider you how genius you are did you ever hear that computer saying to you, you're a genius? You're amazing? No, computers don't do that. They only take, 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 take your attention, your Away time, your life, and they also take all your relatives out of your life, all your children out of your life, and all your friends out of your life, because you become a, what's it called, dictated by computer. Mm -hmm. You live in your computer world of 3D, and then all of a sudden you don't spend t time with people who care about you, and children who need you, and you starting to get withdrawn away from them, and then they know that you're busy with your computer, and they starting to have their lives elsewhere, correct? And then you end up by yourself, mm. by computer, and then when you get sick or you have a shooting nerve through your back or something happens, do you think computer going to look after you? Do I never tell you what? Uh, they it's got no feelings. Yeah, mm. it's a piece of plastic. Of course it's not. Mm. And so... And, and then you'll be laying on the couch all by yourself. Your kids already left because uh, our dad or mom don't like us because um, they're always on computer. They don't have time for us. Then all your good friends would leave you because nobody wants a friend who always sits on computer or stuck to the mobile because they don't have eye contact. Yeah. They don't have change in emotions when you're with them. They don't really admire you or inspire you. And if you lose that quality that you're not inspiring, admiring anybody, it means you're becoming already desensitized mm. And you're just already like walking like a zombie. You don't have smile, you don't have any positive things to say to people around. And you're just like walking like this, you know, here yeah. I am, give me some energy, somebody. You become like already, um, you, you start living on somebody else's energy rather than giving them energy. So therefore we have that suffering. So we, at the process of suffering, we get reset yeah. our mind, our goals, our desires about the future, like what shall I do if I start walking again, what I'm going to do if that, what I'm going to do that, then you know you have time to think, because when you're in pain you seem to think very sharp, because mm. you've got time to think, no computers to distract you, no money to own at, sh uh, at the work and working for somebody else, and think about their business, not about your business, do you understand what I mean, but your business is your health, is your soul, your mind, your acts, how you're acting with people, mm. whether you're improving your English skills, whether you're improving your manners, your attitude, you, what are you creating for mankind, what are you actually doing for mankind to make them happy, that's important. So, and your actions supposed to be giving joy to people and to you, and then you'll get happy. Mm. Yeah. So thank you for listening, and it said here, I love you, remember, and smile, you are delight of my heart, sunshine. Mm. You are sunshine. You are delight. You see, computer went hell.